Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the, as you can see the topic, flyback DCM. Okay. So we are going to understand about the flyback in discontinuous conduction mode. How flyback works in discontinuous conduction mode? What is the advantages of DCM? What is the disadvantages of DCM? okay so so in the last video we have understood what is the flyback converter how flyback converter works what what are the operation of flyback converters right so today today we will focus only on discontinuous conduction mode okay what is the dcm and how flyback converter works in a dcm okay what is the dcm how primary current you can see here how primary current i primary is ramp up from zero and then it collapsed down okay what is the primary peak current what is the secondary current how secondary current collapsed down to the zero and what is the output average output current what is the drain to source voltage what is the dc voltages what is the switching period you can see here what is the on time what is demagnetizing time and what is the dead time what is the off time so these all things we will Today we will understand in detail. Okay, so let us get started. So you can see here, this is the waveform of primary current that is I primary. This is I secondary, secondary current. This is volt drain to source voltage. This is on time. This is demagnetizing time. This is T dead time. And this is off time. This is total period of time. That means switching time, right? so a flyback is operating in discontinuous conduction mode when the power stage is designed in a such way to allow the transformer to completely demagnetizing during each switching cycle you can see here your transformer is completely demagnetizing here okay this t on time in the t of time you can see here you have demagnetizing time and dead time and during this time the magnetizing time your transformer is completely completely demagnetized right the simplest form of dcm flyback is designed with a fixed switching frequency and modulates the peak current to support support the load demands so in the dcm mode flyback works in works in a fixed switching frequency mode okay that modulates the this this primary peak currents right so let us understand the operation of primary peak current and how primary peak current ramps up so you can see during the start of start of switch period so this is the on time during this time the the primary current ramps up from zero you can see here in the red this is t on is in red so so at the start of switch period the on time begins and the primary current ramps up from zero you can see here it ramps up from zero and at the end of on time you can see this is the end of on time the primary current collapses down to zero and current flows in the secondary winding you can see here this this is primary peak current you can see here i primary peak so so during during the end of on time the primary current collapsed down to zero and now you can see your current flows in the secondary winding okay you can see here in the red now this at the end of on time this is t on time your primary current collapsed down to zero and now your secondary current is start flowing okay you can see here at the peak value so start flowing at the peak value current in the secondary binding begins at its peak proportional to the turns ratio and ramps down to the zero you can see here begins with the peak and ramps down to the zero Com that means it is completely demagnetizing the transformer during every switching cycle so it, this this you can see it is completely demagnetizing the transformer that is why it is called demagnetizing time you can see here in the red this is called demagnetizing time now what happens 
once the transformer is completely demagnetized that means there is no current flowing there is no conduction so what happens okay after that what happens after the demagnetizing time there is a delay before primary switch turns on okay you can see here somewhere here in the red you can see the primary switch will turn on again so you can see after the demagnetizing time after this period after this period there is a delay so this delay is called dead time you can see here t dead this delay is called t dead that means dead time okay or resonant time it is also called resonant time during this time neither your mosfet nor your diode neither your primary mosfet nor your secondary rectifier conducts okay so this dead time where the transformer is completely demagnetized and no current is being conducted that is why it is called discontinuous conduction mode okay during this t dead time there is a no current conduction so that is why it is called discontinuous conduction mode so you can see this is on time and t off time is made of t magnetizing time and t dead time and t on plus t off made you switching time or switching period right let us move ahead okay so during this dead time a resonant ring is generated by the interaction of by the interaction between transformer primary inductance and the parasitic capacitance at switch node so you can see this during the, during this dead time you can see this resonant ring okay you can see this resonant ring which is generated by the transformer primary inductance and the parasitic capacitance of switch node okay a converter in deep discontinuous mode can have a dead time long enough for the resonant ring dampen completely at which point drain to source voltage will have settled to be equal to the input voltage so you can see here this resonant time or t dead time dead time is long enough to damp down the the resonant ring you can see start from here with higher magnitude and then after passing the time it is completely ramped down and the voltage here you can see is settled with the drain to source voltage that is vds you can see here this this has been settled at vds right at the high high frequency ringing you can see at the d you can see here you can see here a high frequency ringing can be seen when the mosfet is turned off this is t magnet demagnetizing time that means mosfet is turned off caused by this resonant this ring is caused by this 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 is caused by a resonance formed between leakage inductance and switch node parasitic capacitance so this is llk that means leakage inductance of primary uh, leakage inductance of the transformer and the switch node parasitic capacitance so because of the leakage inductance is much smaller than the primary inductance this ring right guys this ring this ringing will be at much higher frequency than the ringing at dead time during dead time so let us say this is 10 megahertz so this is 1 megahertz so because of your leakage inductance is very less compared to the ringing formed by your primary inductance this ringing is formed by your leakage inductance and switch node capacitance i am repeating again guys this inductance is this this ringing is formed by formed by the transformer leakage inductance and switch node capacitance and this ringing is formed by the primary inductance and switch node capacitance so this ringing frequency is higher this is lower right so this high frequency ringing will add drain to source voltage stress and it should be included in mosfet selection sometimes this higher this ringing will cause a failure in the mosfet so you while selecting your mosfet you should be careful be careful of the mosfet parameter vds that is drain to source and you you should include the mosfet voltage range and it should be around 80 percentage this this voltage is around 80 percentage of your rated vds mosfet drain to source voltage right
so this this ringing also cause the emi failure in your product in your power supply so as much as you can damp down this ringing it is useful in your emi testing right so let us see here for the fixed input voltage increasing in load demands result a longer run time allowing to peak current to rise higher the amplitude of peak current is modulated and converter is operating in amr amplitude modulation mode so this says that if you you have fixed input voltage and your load is demanding more then you will have longer on time this means that you will have uh, you will have large peak current peak your peak current will higher and this is done by in your in your converter by using amplitude modulation right the secondary side peak current will proportionally rise to higher peaks when the diode begins to conduct at the date time portion of switching period will decrease to maintain the constant switching frequency so this uh, this this uh, when your secondary current will peak current will increase this will also this date time will also reduce to maintain the constant switching frequency now guys this is very important to understand what is the advantages and disadvantages in the discontinuous conduction mode okay so let us understand one by one there are no reverse recovery losses in output rectifier because because of it's able to ramp down to zero amps during every switching cycle so this is advantage of dcm a primary inductance value is low is the lowest out of all flybacks why because which may results in smaller transformer size okay so primary inductance value is lower that cause the smaller in transformer size a dcm flyback is more stable because it doesn't have the right half plane zero in its transfer function what is the disadvantage of dcm okay dcm flyback do have large ripple current which may require large emi filter higher it is also having higher switching losses which may hit you a lower efficiency so guys hope today you you have now understood how what is the discontinuous conduction mode how flyback works in a discontinuous conduction mode what is advantages and disadvantages of discontinuous conduction mode if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for your patience